Good evening, everybody. Uh, today is Sunday, and it is pretty late. It's like uh, a little bit past 7, but I'm in here just to stay on top of things, do up a few packages so tomorrow's not too bad. I have responded to emails and offers, and now it's time to do packages. So let's get to it. All right, we're going to start with a couple comic books. Let's see. Avengers. And West Coast Avengers. <laughs> Alright, let's start with these two. First one is the West Coast Avengers. Issue number 13. And this is kind of a low grade because you can see this black residue and stuff right in through here. So I think, I forget what grade exactly that was, but it was a good or very good. It is a low grade. We're going to ship that in a Gemini mailer. We'll tape it down so it doesn't move around. Hopefully it will prevent some damage. Tape's folding over. After I get this all done, when I head back to the house, I need to try to basically get the finish and touches on it. Get everything. It, it's pretty dang on empty right now, but there's still a little bit more to get out of it. This Avengers West Coast sold for $1.99 plus shipping. And it's been listed since February the 23rd of this year, 2021. And it'll ship at the 8-ounce rate. So let's put Avengers West Coast on there. Our next item is an Avengers, Plain Avengers, number 276. Uh, Master of Evil. Hmm. Nice Thor cover. I guess nice Avengers in general, but Thor in the front there. That will also go in a Gemini mailer. Let me tape that down. There we go. And this one was also a lower grade. It was just a good or very good as well but as you can see even low grade comic books do sell you just gotta be patient and if you have the space you gotta have the space to store them so you know then it just takes time this avengers comic book sold for $1.63 plus shipping so it must have been like a 12 percent off offer or something and it's been listed since August the 8th of 2019, so just over two years. And it will also ship at the 8-ounce rate. Alright, now we have a customer that bought seven comic books. And we'll ship these in a legal flat rate envelope. Go ahead and write the Do Not Bend on here. And I put a fragile sticker on the back. go you have the new guardians issue number nine and all the rest are blue beetle blue beetle three eleven twelve fourteen fifteen and eighteen now we'll put these in a tie back envelope get a Gemini mailer. Let's get this taped down.
All right, for these seven comic books, the buyer's total was $11.75 plus shipping. This just slides right into the legal flat rate envelope. And then we fold the top down. And it looked like the oldest one of these had been listed since March the 10th of last year, 2020. Tape this down. And then I put a strip of tape along the top. And one along the bottom just to help prevent it from splitting open. We do not have to weigh this. We're nowhere near the weight limit. The weight limit is 70 pounds. So we're done with that. Now we need a 1612 eBay branded box. Okay. Let's get it taped up. Got a positive comment on that big lazy Susan monkey pad thing we did up and shipped out. Uh, when was it? Thursday? I think it was Thursday. Maybe it was Tuesday. But either way, the person got it. Even though I had the measurements in there, they said they were still amazed with the size of it. And it's going to work wonderfully for their uh, patio parties this summer. So, very happy with that. We have two pieces of bubble wrap we're going to put down there. And this is what we're shipping out. This thing is called... Let's see. A buggy bag. And it goes in your shopping cart for your kids. You put this in the shopping cart so they don't have to touch it. And apparently it'll lay out or something and become a, a changing pad. Kind of dusty and dirty. This was in the storage unit I bought at the 1st of January. And this is one of the things out of that unit that I did list. Now we'll go ahead and put another piece of bubble wrap. Obviously this is cloth. I mean there's really not much chance of it getting damaged. But I'm going to lay another piece here just as protection. But yeah, this came out of that storage unit. So that helps out a lot. Get that money back. And this is one less thing I gotta move, which is nice. Now this buggy bag sold for $48.75 with free shipping. And it's been listed since January the 6th of this year, 2021. And it will ship at the three pound, 15 ounce rate. All right, now we have a coffee mug. This is a Starbucks San Diego coffee mug. Uh, as you can see, it does have some spots on it. This is the collector series from 2011. And notice inside, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but it has some black marks right down in here. So, at any rate, we're going to ship that in a 1086 eBay branded box. We'll get one sheet of bubble wrap. And lay it long ways and then for the mug we need two sheets of bubble wrap and we'll roll this on up in it there we go there we go and it just slides right down in there and then i take a half a sheet of bubble wrap and put it right over the top of the coffee mug. There we go. And, you know, as always, the black marks were disclosed in the uh, listing. 
and I try to take a picture of them the best I could. So, you don't try to hide any defects. This coffee mug sold for $17.75 plus shipping and has been listed since August the 23rd of 2019. And it'll ship at a pound 15 ounce rate. Now we have this Funko Pop. It's from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie, number 220, and it's just Spider-Man. I had two of these, and this is the last one to sell. I always put with box defects. You can see it's a little bent here. So always, I, at least I always put bo with box defects. We'll ship it in an 864 box. We'll get a uh, sheet of small bubble wrap. And then it just fits right down in there. With this small bubble wrap, it's perfect. It doesn't move around at all. Nice and secure. You're not squishing it. With the big bubble wrap, you're kind of squishing it a little bit. For this Funko Pop, it sold for $18.75 plus shipping, and it's been listed since June the 22nd of this year, 2021, and it'll ship at the 8-ounce rate. Now we have a buyer that bought two comic books, Unexpected, number 205, published by DC, and JLA Age of Wonder, book 2. This is a thick prestige format book also published by DC we will try to put these in this bag we might have to go to a golden age bag because that prestige format like I said it's pretty thick we'll see nope it'll fit all right slide them in there and take this and now we'll get a Gemini mailer Oh, my last one. I gotta reload on these. Let's get these taped into place. For the two comic books, the buyer paid $4.87 plus shipping, and the oldest one was that Unexpected, and it's been listed since June the 29th of 2019, and these will ship at the 15 ounce rate. Now we have a postcard, so let's get an 8 by 6 by 4 box. a sheet of bubble wrap. And a little piece of tape. Okay. And the postcard's a real photo postcard. And it's the Bowl National Music Camp Interlochen, Michigan. It has not been postmarked. We're going to put that in a postcard mailer. And then we just set that in the middle. And we tuck, fold, and tape. And that's all we do to it. Now this postcard sold for $12 plus shipping. And it has been listed since August the 7th of 2019. And it will ship at the 4 ounce rate. Alright, now we have a used poster. 
is this one right here. Let's see if I can hold it back far enough for you. It is a Nakona Boots store advertising poster. And it is a Gila monster biting his boots. Looks like he has a pair of fencing pliers. And I guess they're just saying that the boots are stronger than a Gila monster bite. But this just sold. It's a, uh, I believe a 24 by 16 posters is the measurement on this one. And on these, apparently it's very common that they might have had a border, like an inch or so, a white border, and people cut them off when they displayed them. Now, I purchased this at an estate sale, and I bought, uh, I think, four posters that day. Three of them were these smaller kind. One was huge, though. One was like 30, I don't know, 30, between 30 and 36 by like 55. It was really big. And uh, as you can see over there, I just have one left, and it's a small one. What I do is I roll these, and I put in there these would ship roll. This is the center tube from the packing rolls. And as you can see, this fits with ease in there. So I lower it down about an inch, and then you let go. And it'll unwind to fill the uh, tube. And so then it's, it's in there pretty good. And I have a priority mail triangle. And when you're putting this together, see the inside here says express mail. You just got to make sure that you fold it correctly. You want to fold it and tape it so priority mail shows. Now then, we'll take it. There's quite a bit of room left in this poster tube. So I'm going to put a whole sheet of bubble wrap down in the bottom. And we'll use this. This fits really nice and snug side to side. So I really like using these cardboard inserts. And there's still quite a bit of room. So I don't think I'm going to use a whole sheet. Maybe I will. Let's see. I'm going to fold it the short way. Yeah, and it fits. All right, so then you make sure this side gets tucked in really well. A little bit difficult with the bubble wrap. And the uh, interior tube, cardboard tube of the bubble wrap roll touches on all sides. So you got to get it down far enough to where this cardboard doesn't bang up against it. Now, even though this is quite large, it still goes standard priority uh, rates. You don't get that extra jump because it's an oversized package or anything. And, you know, that big Nakona Boots poster, I think I sold it for 150 bucks or something like that. And all these had been displayed. And so a lot of them had pinholes in them. And like this one, you know, they all... It seemed like to me had the edges cut off and stuff and they still all you do is measure it and put the measurements in the description some of them had some fading from the Sun and they're still selling this poster sold for $35 plus shipping it's been listed since May the 26th of this year 2021 and it'll ship at a pound 15 ounce rate and we'll set that right there let me scoot my scale back now There we go, because now we have a DVD, and we'll ship it in an 864 box. But I had no idea about those Nakona boot posters. I remember seeing the uh, estate sale ad online, and those were in one of the pictures. So, you know, I looked it up real quick, and I was like, oh, these Nakona boot posters sell pretty good. But since they had taken a picture of it because these were framed hanging on the walls um i you know most of the time when they do that and take those pictures the stuff in the pictures is priced pretty high and so i was like oh these are going to be expensive and when i went there like that poster was like 12 dollars 15 bucks in the frame 
and that real big one i think was 20 or 30 i think i spent 80 dollars there total that day and like i said those have been really good investments real good turn on the money now for the dvd i'm going to butcher this name la effronti uh, by claude miller it is new and sealed what language is this one in french with english subtitles so i knew i butchered the name but new and sealed and this came from the yard sale where i bought over 240 new and sealed dvds that day from this place i basically just went through their dvds and if it was new and sealed i was pulling it and uh i got a heck of a deal that day uh it was like a hundred bucks for everything i bought this dvd sold for 26 dollars with free uh media mail shipping it's been listed since may the 19th of this year 2021 and it'll ship at the eight ounce rate okay we got paid on another postcard this is the exterior front view of washington hall at west point new york it has not been postmarked we're going to put it in a postcard mailer now we need an 864 box And we need half to keep bubble wrap. And a little piece of tape. There we go. And then we'll just put the postcard in the center. Tuck, fold, and tape. And this postcard, I took a best offer. It was $8 <coughs> plus shipping. And it has been listed since July the 15th of 2019. And it will ship at the four ounce rate. All right, we are caught up to the minute right now with packages. So that's gonna be it for this Sunday edition. It is eight o'clock, so it's been about an hour, but we're all caught up. Now in the morning, I'm not sure how much work I'll be doing in the morning. Uh, tomorrow is the last day to get the house completely cleared out. So I think I'll be making trips to the storage unit and Goodwill and the trash in the morning. But we will have packages due at some point in time tomorrow. So I hope you all have a good night and we'll see you again then. Bye-bye.